Mr. Speaker, the harsh reality is that there are too many Jamaicans who have not yet recognized that we are at war. And Mr. Speaker, this is no ordinary war, because in this war, Mr. Speaker, we cannot see the enemy. Mr. Speaker, you cannot tell who has the coronavirus by looking, and the people of Jamaica are not taking it seriously. It is the worst kind of warfare that we have seen. This is our World War III. Because you can't identify the enemy as being over there, so you're not seeing the bombs dropping, you're not seeing the tankers rolling in, you're not seeing the army of the enemy coming against you. The enemy, Mr. Speaker, is a virus or a bacteria that we cannot see. It depends on the table, it's on the grill, it's on any single surface, it depends on the street that you're walking in, and you cannot see it. And to the young people of Jamaica who think that they are so fit and healthy, Mr. Speaker, mash down that lie. The coronavirus does not respect age. It does not respect political party. It does not respect sex. It does not respect wealth. It does not respect anything at all. And so as Jamaicans, as human beings, we must be united, Mr. Speaker. We must recognize that our best defense in this war against corona is that our prime minister our health minister our entire government has called upon every single jamaican to join the national effort in this war against corona and to be good soldiers and to be the very best soldier to be the war hero that your country needs right now requires you to stay home that is how you're going to be the best soldier in this war, Mr. Speaker, by staying home, by isolating yourself, by respecting the measures that the Honourable Prime Minister, that the government is implementing for everybody's safety.